Hey y'all, what is up everybody? What is up YouTube, YouTube? Sparky Marky Mark here and I'm back <clears throat> to do an unenveloping from the folks over at CSR Collectibles. Holy cow, what did I get this time? What did I get? With their sticker, handle with care. Fragile, thank you. Alrighty. Of chit chat, folks. Let's see what's inside this year envelope. Like, let's un envelope it. Like, right now. Alrighty, folks. So, with all that out of the way, let's see what I've got. Holy shit. Is that what I think it is? A Tommy Lee Wallace autograph who played Michael Myers during the closet chase scene in Halloween, in John Carpenter's Halloween. Three guys, or well, four guys play Michael Myers. One was Will Satin, who played young Michael Myers. Nick Castle, who is John Carpenter's friend, play Michael Myers in the majority of the film. And then came the closet chase scene, and this is Tommy Lee Wallace. And the unmasking was Tony Moran, and then the next one was where Michael Myers gets shot off the balcony. That was played by stuntman actor, or stuntman coordinator, Jim Winburn. And here it is, Tommy Lee Wallace. And he was also the film editor and production designer, by the way, and the man who found the OG mask that was designed, that was from the Captain Kirk mask, but it didn't even look anything like William Shatner. Does it or does it not? Who knows? I got a Tommy Lee Wallace. Yay! Hell to the Y-E-S. Very, very good detail, man. Spectacular. All right, on to the next one. Holy shit. It's a Dick Warlock autograph. H2, baby. He played Michael Myers in Halloween 2. Not the Rob Zombie. No, the OG baby directed by Rick Rosenthal. And yes, and plus, if I talked to, if I already mentioned to you guys about Dick Warlock, um, he is the gentleman that was the stunt coordinator and he was a stunt double to Bing Russell, father of Kurt Russell, who would later double him in some films in the late 60s and early and mid 70s. And, of course, he was in Escape from New York, and that's where he met producer and director and co-writer John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. He met them and asked if he could do be the stunt coordinator for Halloween 2, and I said, sure. And if you guys talk to me, review about the film, talk about Dick Warlock, yes. He played a great Michael Myers. I gotta say, he totally nailed it to the wall. He earned that role. And no line, no kidding. And just look at it. It is close to the original mask. So they had to redesign it because Deborah Hill kept the original mask and unfortunately rotted over time under her bed because she smoked a lot. So they had to redesign the mask, make it look like it, and see if it got a little somewhat. But all in all, folks, A++, baby. A++ on the mask. And this is a very good signature. Radio on that. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's JSA, baby. You've seen it right there. JSA, baby. So yeah, guys. And I didn't go to Spookala. I'm going to be clear. If it did, you would have seen a video of that. Oh, well. Oh, well, I don't even know what. But all in all, I got, I got a Dick Warlock autograph. <laughs> Awesome. And plus, he would later be playing the assassin in Halloween 3, a.k.a. Halloween Season of the Witch. The night no one comes home. So, yeah, if you guys know about the stick, you know, yeah, this is how CSR does it. They send your name with a stick, one with a sticky note on one side and then the other one. How do they like it? Sign, orange, signature, and there it is, H2. So, yeah. Kudos to that, y'all. 
awesome, awesome. And this is a behind the scenes and he's drinking Coke. <laughs> Very cool. Alrighty y'all, on to the next one. Next up, here it is, my third private signing, a third pre-order, signed by Douglas Tate. If anybody knows Douglas Tate, he, he's a stuntman actor, but also a stuntman, worked in other films, and he played Jason Voorhees in the ending part of Freddy vs. Jason. Since this was shot on the last day, since Ken Kernsager wasn't available to play him, and of course, he's holding Freddy's head, Douglas Tate played Jason. And also another thing, um, he had to put on some pads on him to make him look buffy and strong. So yeah, he played Jason in the ending scene, and look at that, he's holding Freddy's head, meaning that it's far from over. But they never bothered to do a sequel, how come? I would have been looking forward to it. So yeah, signed in black, Douglas Tate, Jason S D F V F versus J. S D stands for stunt J stunt double, and you already know what F versus J means. Freddy versus Jason. This is it, folks. This is it. Before I show you even close-ups, yep, this is how they come with. To any anyone who pre-orders it, they have to send this to the the person that played that role. How they want the fans to sign their autographs, but. Why do I have a tape? Why is there a blue tape underneath? Oh yeah, when I pre-ordered this, somebody just attached a little something in here. Oh shit! What do we got? What do we got? Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> like wow! And if I'm not mistaken, this is a um a car a ghost face card that is played by stuntman actor and coordinator by the name of Alan Robinson. Robinson, yeah. So here he is, Alan Robinson. They just put it in and he's six foot one, weighing about 195 pounds, nicknamed Rock. Opening scene kills Phil in the bathroom and Maureen in the theater scene. And then chasing Sydney and have Campbell in the sorority house and then chases Gail Weathers, played by Courtney Cox, and stabs Dewey in the studio. So those scenes are with, um, are, if I'm not mistaken, wait a minute, that is the scene that you just, yeah, for those who haven't seen Scream 2, please turn that, turn this video. Sorry if I spoiled it to anybody who hasn't seen it. So yeah, now I know the major that um, Alan Robinson played Ghostface for the majority of the film. Chris Duran did play Ghostface in the opening of the of of Scream, which was the Scream Two, which was the the inside of the Stab universe, the Stab movie. But he did play Michael Myers in some scenes. And then who else? Lee Wydell, who played Ghostface in the opening of Scream One, which was the scene in Casey Becker, and then in the sequel, he he did play Ghostface in the um, the car driving scene. So that was, yeah, so three guys play Jason. Chris Durand, Alan Robinson, and Lee Wydell. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and look at this. S-A-G, Stunt, S-A-G, Stunt Award nomination for Outstanding Performances, The Stunt Assemble in Motion Picture and Kingdom, 2008, TWS, uh, Tar Tar Tarnus, uh, Taurus, I can't even say that name. World Stun Award for Best Work with a Vehicle in the Kingdom, of course, obviously. Then there, then of course, Outstanding Stun Ensemble for the SAG, the SAG, SAG Stun Award nomination in a television series, Sons of Anarchy. Then in 2016, and died, died inducted into the Hollywood Stuntman Hall of Fame. Wow. So, yeah. Why do you I got me a ghost face car. But too bad it's not signed by Alan Robinson. If I bring this to Mr. Robinson, maybe he can sign it like here. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is part of the, what do you call it? Hold on. Huh. 
Okay. Anybody reads that? It's a saver thing. So, so yeah. Next time I even bring this, this, I got me a ghost face card. Holy cow. Thank you, CSR. Thanks. So, a little close up on the mask. Yep, this is the battle damage one, y'all. Mm hmm. Yep, definitely the battle damage. Because this is when he was went through the ruggedness and explosion happened. And Jason saved the day. And then there's Fred Krueger's head holding in Jason's right hand. And last but not least, he's holding his machete on the left hand. Kudos to that. There it is, Douglas Haight, Jason, stunt double, Freddy vs. Jason. Alright, now let's see all three together. Well, here they are, all three pre-orders. And let me be clear, I ordered this like two months ago. I ordered this one like over a month ago. I ordered this one two weeks ago. So yeah, let's give a shout out to Tommy Lee Wallace, Dick Warlock, and Douglas Tate. And plus, let's give a shout out to CSR Collectibles. And with that, let's take a look at the back here. All these have JSA, that good authentication, and CSR Collectibles sticker. Shouts to you guys at CSR Collectibles. Shout outs to you. You're, you're awesome, man. And these, well, all three of them were at Spookala, by the way, this past weekend. I couldn't go to that one, unfortunately. It was just crazy up in the house. I was already at Spooky anyway in April. Too bad I couldn't go to that one. But all in all, folks, I got their autographs. Next time they're going to be doing any um, appearances or at a, con or at a convention in, um, uh, at a convention at certain areas in Florida, I'm going to be there. And I will be asking them questions about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I will be talking about the way they move and everything of playing the villains. Just say, you're awesome, dude. And you guys did great jobs. So yeah, shout outs to CSR Collectibles. Let's give a shout out to the collectors out there. And also, let's be clear, I'm in the YouTube community. And I'm, oh, and I'm always posting what time I post videos and what time... Do the videos even get posted? So keep an eye on that. And also like the videos and share the vids. And also as well as if you like contact like this or any other contact, click the bell and the subscribe button to be notified of all new uploads. As well as well as if you have any opinions, comments down below. I'd like to hear your opinions. So yeah, y'all. This is Sparky Marky Mark signing off. Y'all take care. God bless you. Enjoy a good Father's Day weekend, and enjoy the weekend. Later, y'all.